So, uh, hello, uh, beautiful ladies and mental gents. Today I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually show you something uh, I've been working on for quite a lot of time. I, uh, this is fine. This is actually fine. Don't, uh, don't mind me. It's not just very, very loud game, very loud noise. This is, this is absolutely fine. Nowhere to like, nowhere to run. Nothing to like panic. Just. Hang up with me, we're gonna talk like a normal voice until like I actually fix the, the stuff because the game kind of resets the music settings every single time you launch it. So uh, yeah, now we can actually talk like a normal people. So, hello, uh, my name is Mecha. Uh, you might uh, probably heard about me during my Del Cry runs, maybe not, uh, it doesn't really matter. So uh, right now I'm gonna show you something called Mark Eccles Getting Up Content Center Pressure Run. Uh, this runs a little bit, um, let's say, uh, unique at some at some sorts, kind of. Well, you know the idea. Like, uh, I don't run like bad games, uh, right? Well, anyway. So um, yeah, I think let's just start it up and let me just explain what's going to happen. Like in like in a couple of whatever it is. So, um, the timer starts in, like, literally by the time this cutscene ends, so, three, two, one, 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 go! So, uh, welcome to Mark Echoes Getting Up. Uh, so this is a story about a train uh, that wants to be an graf a graft artist, because he's inspired to be one. Uh, quite obviously, this game is a little bit of fault, so it has a couple of quirks related to the engine uh, and how this game runs on newer machines, like uh, my amazing rig that can be used uh, pretty much to play these kind of games is kind of good. So yeah, uh, so what uh, what's obvious enough is that, uh, well, as a graffiti artist, especially as the beginner one, um, it's like very obvious that we would just want to skip all the tutorials because we don't want people to just teach us how to draw. Like you know, like you know, like how do we draw? So like, uh, we take uh, this pancake, we put it into into like our mouths, and then we are just uh, gonna set up a, a big uh, happy painting. But yeah, what we've just done is that we've just jumped and skipped uh, a tutorial. Now we're gonna skip uh, something called gravity. Well, you know, like. Everyone believes in gravity. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't believe in gravity as well because there is an invisible floor we are just gonna uh, just hang into. And let's just skip like half of the tutorial and just straight up go to the combo tutorial we are having right now here. So, some segments of this run are mandatory to complete, like this beautiful tutorial one. And uh, pretty much we're getting introduced to, to the fighting system we are having here. So, how can I explain how fighting system works in this game? So, we have a light attack, which is a punch attack, which is like this button here. And we have a strong attack, which is the leg one. Like, if, you, if you've never skipped a leg day, you're not gonna have problems with this game pretty much. But if you did, well, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, we can stun enemies by doing uh, a special attacks. We can uh, do a uh, very strong combos with our special attacks that uh, you have at the very end of your combos. Um, you can really distinguish like you can distinguish these uh, like special kind of attacks when you have that little slow mo, like like just a little bit dis like uh, before the attack connects. So um, we gotta combine those uh, kind of strong attacks and light attacks because light attacks are faster a little bit. But uh, the uh, the actual leg attacks, these ones, they are actually very strong. They hit like like m maybe like twice as hard. Like maybe okay, not twice. Maybe like quarter as hard as light attacks do. So uh, yeah, we just gotta combine the speed of the light attacks and the damage of your heavy attacks. Yeah, uh, we're gonna mash in this game uh, quite uh, a lot because we gotta uh, just. Uh, mash so we can pull the enemies closer to ourselves and we got a mash to just pull some crates off etc etc so yeah uh, welcome to the pool yard and this is the very first boss of this game called white mike he's very big uh, like not as big as floppa but still as big uh, we're gonna do a very specific manip to make uh, white mike a little bit um, let's say uh, it's gonna be very uh, 
Up. Very impressive with our, with our skills that we have with our bats, so let's just drop our weapon here. Uh, do a couple of attacks here. Uh, can I pull you? Thank you. So we're gonna stop three attacks here, so he will fall off. And then we're gonna just uh, stun lock this guy with this beautiful uh, stick we have here. So by using the stick and by throwing the enemy, on, especially like heavy enemy like White Mike is, under a, um, let's say, in a very specific angle, we can literally like stalk st st these heavy kinds of enemies uh, to make sure that they will never wake up. So, what makes this game is special is that this game is one of the games uh, where actually you can paint some graffiti. Uh, imagine like this is a uh, jet set radio, but just a little bit better or worse, like whatever it is. So we have a couple of points. So let's say a let's say like these points is, uh, are important. And we have like a, a couple of like minor points. You can draw some some stuff there. Uh, all this stuff is predetermined. Uh, I mean, the places are. But what exactly will you paint is not. So you can either choose what kind of um, let's say painting you want to paint. Uh, some of them are as insulting as fat ass, and some of them are kind of great, like monkey. Everyone likes to return to monkey, you see. So yeah. Um, you can manipulate the sides of these images you're gonna paint, so sometimes uh, in casual playthrough you just want to paint the big ones, but in speedrun you only want to paint the the small ones because they are actually much faster than the big ones. Big ones give you more reputation, which is the, um, let's say, well, reputation. Like, there is nothing I can, like, throw more to this, like, um, uh, let's say... To the, to the stuff. If you have a lot of trading, uh, you can unlock uh, more stuff, like uh, more upgrades for your character. Uh, these upgrades are unlocked facilities, so majority of these upgrades are actually like useless. But some upgrades that we are not like getting even closer in this run are um, related to the weapon damage you have right now. And so, with weapon in your hands, you're doing a lot more damage. I did a little mistake, this is fine. So yeah. Nice. So yeah, and uh, in majority of the case, we first gotta like get rid of the enemies. Either, uh, either we are going to just hug them to death, or we are just gonna stop some speedrun strats. You see, speedrun. This is a speedrun, but with some fastening strats. So, uh, you see, the very first part of this game is a little bit slow, but let's make it just a little bit faster. So uh, let me try to get some bunny hopping here. I think this setup should work. Okay. We got it working. So yeah, uh, every single time we're doing a jump in a very precise, uh, like, window. After each jump, we can, um, addition, like, uh, increase our speed, pretty much. So th that increased speed goes away once you fail a single jump. So it's very important to, like, not screw this up. The timings are very, kind of, hard. But it's kind of manageable. Uh, most of the times, we want to be bunny hopping. And bunny hopping makes this run, like, maybe, like... A lot faster, like maybe like uh, maybe an hour faster, whatever. So because we're jumping uh, faster and we're jumping jumping much, uh, like let's say longer uh, and further, we can set up a couple of skips later in the in the round. So it's very important that you manage this beautiful thing off. So um, I think we have to just. Continue using our speedrun strats, you see? So, let's see. Uh, this location lasts for six minutes. Thankfully for us, hopefully it won't last more than a minute. So let's just jump here, please. Screw you. So, um, we failed the jump, uh, but this is fine. We're gonna just gonna do it again. We have like a couple of tries, so... Come on. Oh, uh, uh, nay, please, no! What the heck a ton is going on? Okay, so, um, basically we're just trying to jump on the invisible ceiling of this, uh, car. And sometimes this ceiling is a little bit naughty in terms of just a long jumper. Allowing, allowing, like, runners to jump. Okay, I'm gonna uh, try a different setup. So, uh, you see there's two cars you can do this uh, trick. So you either can do this on this pickup. Which is called the pickup of time losses, or you can do this on this beautiful taxi, which is called the taxi of time saves. Um, I think I failed it. Yep. 
So, uh, the final damage starting this segment over here is actually pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna explain why this is bad a little bit later, but this skip here is a little bit like... You see, like, this... No, I need to do... Oh, wait, what? Well, the skip, the skip is... A little bit hard. So, like... Well, you see, it's just a little bit hard. Okay, okay. Pick up, please, let me, let me, let me jump. Okay, this should be perfect. What the? Well, uh, marathon luck. Marathon luck, this is, uh, absolutely marathon luck. I have no idea why this happens. Um, okay, let's try this. This is, a, like, an actual law. Okay, we got it. Woo! Uh, actual first try. Every single time. So, uh, technically we've just skipped like six minutes of this, uh, of this run, but there is more. Uh, we're not supposed to climb over here, uh, like, at all, because the game will just tell you, well, you see, you didn't paint enough, like, pictures, like, below, so you gotta, like, paint those pictures. And with a, kind of, a very strange glitch, we can just skip this, um, skip this requirement, and just go inside. So yeah, uh, story-wise, uh, our main character, which is called Train, he got kicked away from his grandma, and now he found uh, a place to live uh, in abandoned art school. What can go wrong? Um, I have an answer, just let me... Let, let's just wait. So first of all, there is uh, two hobos here. They are These are, uh, like, real nice men, so let's not just touch them, because they are cool. But what's not cool is that there is... Wait, what the... F oh, okay, got him. Okay, so we can one-shot these guys, uh, like, with no problems, uh, because... And, uh, it's not good. Not hit me! So, uh, some of the enemies here, uh, you can, like, touch them. Make them go to sleep, you see. So, uh, I want to, to drop this, uh, plank over here. Because this plank can be picked up by the enemies as well. And I just want to just draw some herbs, uh, because I, I like herbs, like, real, real, real good herbs, you see. Uh, we're gonna eat some herbs at this run as well. So yeah, uh, after we finish this graffiti, we gotta pick up this uh, beautiful uh, plank. And we gotta show that we picked up uh, this iPod song. So after this uh, guy spawns in, let's just hit them real hard with our, with our new friend called Plank. So there's like two planks now. Uh, like just casually sitting here. So yeah, uh, let's grab a pipe which is a little bit stronger than the, uh, than the pipe. And then I'm gonna introduce you to the... Uh, one of the main aspects of the combat system in this game called uh, wall bounces. So, uh, you see, whenever the enemy touches the wall, either by your attacks or, like, uh, by something else, an example, like, they are literally touching the walls, they're getting uh, a little, like, fraction of damage. But this fraction of damage can be um, bounced off, like, in a people manner. So, by hitting the enemy, uh, like, against the wall, the enemy gets, like, hits, uh, hit, got hit, like, once, and then it can be hit twice or, like, thrice perfectly. Like, if it actually goes like uh like well enough so every time you get the wall bounce then we get gets hit like by the 10 damage and then damage is like around uh i think like uh this is not good but whatever so yeah uh, every single time we get a wall bounce then we gets hit like by one or like two heavy attacks with your legs and this is actually the hardest boss in the entire run because it can go wrong okay so this guy is, uh, thinks like, uh, we, are, we are weak. Let's just throw some, some televisors at him, and just unlock him as well, uh, like we've been done with the white mic. He's done. An actual god gaming strategy. So yeah, um... Welcome to the subway tunnels. And, uh, story-wise, like, plot-wise, we are, we are, like, getting up, you see? Like, getting up from the very bottom of the, of the graffiti car here. And every single graffiti car here started uh, at these uh, beautiful, uh, like, subway tunnels. So that's why we're here, to just uh, draw some stuff, draw some trains, uh, you see. And if you like trains, uh, I, I'm sure you, you'll see them in a couple of, like, seconds. Uh, here is, there is a, a very interesting bunny hop boost, uh, which is kind of hard to get, because the diagonal, uh, like, 
Diagonal uh, surfaces are very hard to bounce, very hard to bounce off. But like, majority of the cases, these diagonal surfaces are well. Not gonna gonna give you something. So uh, instead of just painting some stuff, uh, I have a another plan. So let me just do some uh, cheating. You see, like speedrunning is all about the cheating. You see. Where are we? I don't know. Wow, Mecha! What a magic! What a magician, man! Wow. So yeah, um, whenever you go out of bounds for in like. In a place where you're not supposed to be because the area is not loaded, uh, your physical, let's say, model uh, remains there. It doesn't fall off, falls off that much often, but your uh, camera is gonna like, play, like catch up to you a little bit. So this is the level called the layup, and uh, I'm going to introduce you to the main speedrun like technique of this run called zipping. So, when, if you saw the Prince of Persia runs... Oh, shit, I got the first one. I failed the first one. Shit. So, yeah, um, if you saw some Prince of Persia runs, you can, like, easily recognize the stuff that's going on. Uh, so, by jumping and doing a couple of uh, magic inputs uh, like this, we can make sure that this game just launches up like this. Can I wait? God, a second try, good. So, yeah, um... Uh, this game has uh, some sort of problems with how do we, um, let's say, uh, like I'm just trying to find a way to properly explain uh, the technique so you would understand, even though like you're seeing this game for the first time, because explaining these this particular um, glitch is actually pretty hard. So let me try this one. So um, imagine this game uh, likes uh, to store your position somewhere. So imagine if the game uh, gets confused if you tap more than two buttons at the same time. So whenever you tap two movement buttons and one button that uh, kind of tells the game to just uh, show you the next targets, the game kind of gets a little bit confused because it kind of ki tries to show you some some more graphics that you can pay it on, but it also gets confused because you're kind of moving, which you're not supposed to do. So by doing this... Uh, on uh, specific uh, ledges, like the one I've used to zip at the first, um, in the first place, uh, we can get a lot of speed, and uh, we are ignoring collision while we'll while we are going so fast. So we're gonna use zips uh, a, a well a fair ton of time in this run, but every single time uh, the technique remains the same. So yeah. So there is uh, the guy that we kind of gotta save, so let's see if we're gonna get one shot strategies. Nice, we got the one shot strategies. Can I pick up my weapon, please? Uh, let's throw this guy away, because he holds my weapon. Weapon! Give me my weapon! Okay, so uh, weapons are very important in this round, uh, because like as I said earlier, you can deal much more damage if you, if you have any sort of weapon in your hands. So that's why we're gonna make sure that we are either hitting the enemies either with our weapons, or, uh, well... We're just hitting them with our fists. Uh, yeah. Let's just unlock some iPod songs that do nothing anyway. So yeah, uh, after zipping, or in general, after skipping a lot of segments, the game just gets a little bit, you so like, confused. Because the game kind of does not understand that the game, like, we only finished the mission. So it just teleports us back to the last checkpoint we've, we've been in. And it also unlocks the next mission, because we kind of fulfilled the main, like, the main quest of this game. So that's why we're able to not play the segment again and just go to the this train ride. So this train ride, so, <coughs> this train ride is a uh, three minute long autoscroller, uh, where you have to basically paint uh, all the graphics on the train. Uh, all the routes of this game kind of uh, relied on getting all the gravities uh, because you would get a very strong move called Power Knuckle Duster. But in this route that uh, was refined not so long ago by uh, Sasha Vince uh, and Robotic. Uh, these are two uh, world record holders in this game. They like this game, despite like being kind of long enough. The run like lasts maybe like one and a half hours in in average. Uh, the this like this game has a tied world record between those two, uh, with a time of one hour, twenty-four minutes, and forty seconds loadless. Uh, because I have a little bit more loads than the rest of the runners, so 
and my late game isn't that perfect. That's what I can say compared to the to the rest of the runners of this game. Even though like I'm third of this, uh, I'm third. Uh, I hold the third place in this in this run in this category with the time of one hour twenty eight minutes. So like I'm I'm four minutes uh, off the world record. But uh, the reason why I, I'm not trying to get the world record in this game is because uh, well. This game has a something called a clip, can clip to be precise, and the magic of these can can clips is that um, they can save you a lot of time, but they can lose it a lot of time if you do do them incorrectly, um, because you gotta pretty much do a frame perfect input in a very um, bad location. This is like not something you wanna have fun with, you see. So yeah. Um, this is a fun run to, to, to do, even though like this run uh, has a lot of chill places and uh, there is very like s let's say small amount of actually like hard things. Even though like the basics of this run are very hard to grasp on, even like on the early runs, you will probably do if you decide to run this game. So yeah, it's a definitely a cool run in my opinion. So you should check out the Discord if you have more. So yeah, uh, this is the end of the auto scroller. We gotta just jump a little bit. Hello, Mika. Hello, uh, who are you? Hello. Hello. I have some uh, donations, maybe. I mean, you are scroller done, but. Uh... Uh, uh, yeah, you can uh, you can read some donations because we're gonna fight some boss, and this boss is an ass. Okay. Sounds good. So first of all, we have five dollars by Bingo Bongo, so aka, AKA Jim, one of our very own, saying time to go fastening Mika. Blinking emoji, blinking emoji. Real fast. Uh, yes, yes. And then we have twenty dollars by Waffle Power saying uh, happy face. And also twenty dollars by Heck, I suppose. <laughs> That's like uh, maybe Hecky, but uh, maybe not. Uh, no comment though. But yeah, thank oh. you very much for all the donations. So uh, this guy is called Deep, uh, which is a reference to a rapper called Mob Deep. Because, well, you see, all of this game, uh, like, this game has a lot of uh, good soundtracks, even though, like, they're heavily copyright striked, you see. Uh, but I think you're not gonna be, uh, like, having any, like, problems, maybe, I don't know. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna make sure this boss just hopefully dies in a very quick way, otherwise, otherwise we're gonna have a lot of bad times, you see. So, yeah, uh, we are, again, trying to do some... Uh, Wall, uh, wall bounces against this boss because it's very important to get some because you were gonna get more, much more damage uh, The track that's playing on the background is a remix of the classic hip, so hip, -hop, hip hop song called Kushotia and uh, this track has been arranged by uh, the one and only Serge Tankian uh, We're gonna get hit by the boss a little bit So we're gonna just hit this guy a little bit throw him uh, a little bit closer and bonk we can jump uh, to the train, and you see, like, we are trained and we are getting closer to our family, to the to the family of trains. Like, imagine, like, those, like, god gamer strategies, like, insane fastening strats, oh my god. So, uh, welcome to the level Gapeshood. So, Gapeshood is notoriously known as one of the hardest level in the entire run, and the sheer complexity of this level can be explained by a couple of things. So first of all, there is a lot of setups that you have to do uh, perfectly, like this setup I'm doing here. Uh, this setup in particular gives me a uh, a slight boost in my height because I'm j I'm not I'm jumping with um, like in a very particular spot with my control button held on. For some reason, if you hold your control button, your jumps uh, become just a little bit higher, and that allows us to just uh, do a couple of nasty things uh, here and later in the run. So, uh, yeah. So, what's gonna happen next? Uh, we're gonna defy some, like, gravity and, like, a, a couple of Newton laws, you see. So, how are we gonna do that? Uh, it's easy, trust me. In Soviet Russia, physics uh, throw you, not the other way around. So, uh, let's just uh, paint some graffitis uh, here on the walls, uh, because it's, like, good. Uh, instead of gra gra grabbing the vines below, let's just fall down and hopefully we're gonna do this little skip that never gets enough attention. Last one! Come on! Never works. 
So uh, yeah, by doing the very precise corner jump of that uh, of the place, you can just skip moving this dumpster with all my bad runs there. Um, so yeah, and just casually paint this graffiti as well. So yeah, this last graffiti unlocks the passage for the next uh, next segment. So this next segment is uh, very interesting. I'm sure you're gonna be very interesting in this interested in this segment. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna. Uh, kill this guy. My bad. You see this pole? It's not a pole. It's an po It's a portal device devised by the speedrunners to go really fasting enough. And I'm going to do like an actual fasting strat to go so fast that this game will work me. One, two, three. You want? Know Easy every single time. So uh, here there's a very short trigger that you that you have to like not hit, otherwise you'll uh, you'll spawn a lot of enemies and you'll spawn something more. So let's defy some uh, more laws of physics, like literally creeping inside the fence. You see. So uh, by cl like by clipping inside this fence, uh, like an actual speeding strat, uh, we are able to despawn all the guards in the slow, besides the, the ones that we'll see in a couple of uh, seconds. Uh, actually, like in a minute. Uh, can I go a little bit to the state as well? Thank you. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, we are also despawning something called uh, the projector, like the... Oh, yeah, uh, it's called uh, a spotlight in the English language, sorry. So, uh, by despawning the spotlight, we're making the very last segment of this level much easier, because... Uh, in the casual playthrough, this beautiful spotlight is very daunting to to paint against. So uh, it's very important that you will not hit the left part of this uh, of the segment, otherwise you'll pretty much die. Because well, there is a death trigger just like left there for some reason. So yeah, let's just not hit this for quite a while. So yeah, uh, there's two more gravities we gotta hit. But first of all, let's manipulate these two enemies that are here. So let's shout, let's like whistle a little bit to them so they will would not sus uh, like uh, uh, your vipers are not seeing you, you see. If you have any, I don't have one, so whatever. So yeah, uh, by doing this setup, those two enemies will actively try to search for me. But whenever I'll be backtracking, like to, to the zone I was jumping from, uh, these enemies will be watching against uh, the wall and they will not see me. So this saves a lot of, like not really a lot of time, like it just saves me... A cutscene to watch. So there's one more graffiti we have to we have to paint, and I'm sure it's gonna be like a fun time painting it because after that there is gonna be a much harder segments. Uh, like there's three segments in a row with a lot of problems inside. So yeah, so you see, like this guy's just well. I'm just gonna throw you my my paint can, and hopefully you'll fall down. But we're not falling down because we are so fast. You see. So yeah, uh, let's paint this graffiti as well. Uh, it's very important to not fall down uh, very fast from this particular gravity, otherwise you'll die. So before we fall down and uh, drop, let's do this small drop here, and then just go over there. So, uh, completing the final gravity spawns a gravity legend. Uh, in casual playthrough, we are learning uh, new gra gravity types from these legends, so we can unlock them in the next chapter. So this uh, guy called Smith... Um, is like teaches us that we need to paint bigger and we have to like send a message for everyone. Uh, so we are assembling a crew, you see, called SFC, Steel Free Crew. Steel Free Crew, I mean. Uh, so obviously, painting on this uh, Otal kind of pisses this uh, Mr. Kim guy. So yeah, uh, he's a little bit angry, but because we're going so fast that he's like, Oh my god, I gotta stop him! But he can't do that, because he's just uh, a voice from the uh, from this beautiful uh, stone building. Or maybe, but just maybe, he is buried inside these stones, uh, and he doesn't like when whatever uh, draws like this, uh, this, whatever it is. So, uh, let me activate auto saves here, so in the case if the game will just crash after this mission, which has a pretty big chance because I failed the beginning section kind of hard, so yeah. 
Welcome to the meatpacking plant, which is one hell of a mission. So first of all, we gotta quickly shut down this guy before he actually moves. So this is one, that's good. So then we're gonna open this freezer. Can you open the freezer, my comrade? Thank you. So inside this freezer, we're gonna paint some graffitis, you see. Good. So there is a banger soundtrack going on on the background. Uh, one of the, my favorite back, uh, I mean, one of my favorite tracks. And thus I invoke uh, Baldioj. So uh, then there is this guy that can rotate anytime soon, so we're gonna one-shot him as well. The guy on the left does not get sagroed, that's cool. So we're gonna just paint some, some stuff here. So uh, you might be wondering, Mecha, so you've been one-shotting these guys for quite a while now. Uh, is it very simple to just one-shot them, one them like this? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, you might have noticed that every single one-shot I'm doing uh, I've done with uh, um, something called inventory, so I'm opening an inventory and then I'm buffing the input because your, um, let's say your, uh, give me a second. Can you not spawn additional guard here? Thank you. So, um, damn, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, I didn't stop for uh, quite a while. Sorry. So, uh, oh, yeah. What? 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 What the? F uh. Okay. Let's let's just whatever. So um yeah. Uh, by opening your inventory, we can uh buffer. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is this is actually kind of bad. Okay, I think I have to do a very risky strat that I've never done before. Well, yeah, you see, the performing this game is like an actual insane. So yeah, um... Okay, let's go upwards. The guard is already here. We're gonna have some problems, I think. Okay, no problems. So, uh... Let's just hope that everything go will go fine, hopefully, and we won't die after a jump. So, uh, technically we should be dead after the next jump, but maybe with very low odds we won't be. Let's go all the way up here, and hopefully this will work. It did not. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, this happens a lot, uh, not actually like a lot, this is just, uh, this is just some something called uh, unlucky, just some unlucky segments. So yeah, um, let's just do the segment once again. Okay, one more jump. So you gotta like have a full HP to survive this jump, and even if you'll survive this jump, there is four enemies at the place where you end up. And those four enemies can, well, can give you a lot of bad time, you see. Um, it's not like that uncommon you, you die in this place after the jump, so whatever it is. So, okay. So we gotta let it be like this, and uh, we're gonna land over here. Please don't hit me! Okay, I'm gonna take a... Okay, I'm gonna save strat here. Ah, uh, nice. So uh, let's just jump over here. Can I jump? 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 Thank you. So uh, let's jump and uh, get up. Nice. Okay. Okay. Seems fine. Uh, so yeah, refilling the gravity, the can, and whatever it is, and just let's seemingly do some jumps before this cutscene starts. So there, here's the dome. Uh, like Dominic, his uh, not the Dominic Toretta from your the Fast and Furious. Uh, what the heck is this? Oh, okay, this is fine. So uh, yeah, let's just do some parkouring sections and uh, whistle at the enemy. Uh, whistle at the dome. So you see the game uh, Marco's space program. Uh, well, we have one over here. You see, uh, nay. Oh, he's not tripped. Uh, well, this is okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you something cool. Uh, so because this guy is not dead, uh, uh, let's just say he's gonna have some good time. Can I grab? Uh, so where can I grab more HP? Please, I don't wanna die. 
Okay, so because this guy is still alive, uh, let's uh, let's make this run a little bit more entertaining, you see. So I'm just gonna steal this pallet and just uh, watch as those enemies are just fighting each other. Please don't crash. So, uh, I'm gonna crash this game by myself in 3, 2, 1. So, uh, the reason we crashed the game is because if we wouldn't crash the game, the game would literally crash after we start the next segment. Like, simple as this. So, uh, we're breaking that by quitting the game ourselves. So, uh, I've done this in this particular mission because um, I have to restart the game in uh, the mission I've done right now, and I also have to restart the mission all the times in the at the very start of the, of the run. So because the game is a little bit like naughty on uh, on memory, especially like on Windows 10, it's very important that you crash the game in like three points of the run. So uh, I'm gonna show you the new speedrun strat here. So we gotta fall down here and hopefully this will work first try. This worked first try! So uh, this is something called can clipping. Uh, this is amazing. So can clipping allows us to skip like a lot of uh, segments and like a lot of actual segments in this run. Um, by conserving our momentum to the... Um, to the whatever it is, I can't explain because I'm not uh, like you see, I'm not a doctorate of uh, Mark is getting up uh, physics. You see, I'm just like uh, well, I don't know who, but well, whatever. So uh, by conserving some momentum that you have from your jump or your sprint, using a uh, very precise input, it's actually a very precise input. Uh, it's it's consistent input, but it's like very hard to get done properly every single time. So. Yeah, um, you can like clip inside and uh, the game will just... Oh, well, you can be inside. How about I, I won't like push you away? So if you if you can put some Lil Z or Franken Z in the chat while I'm fighting a boss here. So this, these dogs are not even the boss, but you can soft lock the game here and hopefully this will not happen. So that's why we're moving the balls. Oh my god, this is a... P no, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so this one... So this is one dog. This is... Okay. Okay, can I... Can I hit you? Can I hit you, please? Dog! Oh my god, this dog. Can I... Can I... Thank you. Catch jump moment. Come on. Okay, so... Uh, let's come to this wall in particular and dodge the attack. Rotate the this guy in. How did you touch this? Okay, let's do this then. Okay, so uh, rotate this guy around this uh, beautiful uh, wall and just do wall bounce attacks. Okay, so let's just do this. Great. Okay, uh, continue hitting him, otherwise he'll resummon the dogs, uh, and we don't want to see more dogs. Because, obviously, it's not him who's letting the dogs out, I think. So I've got to find the person who's letting these dogs out, you see. Obviously, it's not him. So that's good. Uh, I forgot to turn off the outsides, I think. I didn't. So, uh, yard entrance. So... Yard entrance is probably my uh, one of the most uh, hated levels in the run because we got to do a can clipping, the same that we've done two levels ago, and we got to do a little bit more than just can clipping. So let's see if this will get this first try, and uh, we got it first try. Great. So after can clipping, there is a weird uh, camera that we cannot fix, but uh, I, I, oh, okay, I got him. Uh, but there is a way to fix this, either by hitting a specific trigger, or just trying to paint on something. Um, so yeah, this is uh, just a little bit of a problem, you see. But because we're doing so great, and we're going so fast, we can suspect that dogs are not going out because they were hit by fastening strats. So we're gonna do some more fastening strats over here. So by using this ball cutter, let's just uh, cut this thing off and let's use some uh, some cool stuff. 
So, uh, remember the zips that we've done uh, at layup? Well, we, we're gonna see more zipping now. A lot more zipping. Uh, can you not do this? Oh, I'm gonna get spotted. Please don't hit me. Please don't pass on me. Please don't pass on me. Please don't shoot at me. Okay, so. Uh, zipping can be done in multitude of ways. For example, this one. Good, first try. No hands gaming. Wow. Oh, we got a fast one. Good. So, uh, we're landing here. By doing the zip, we're literally saving like maybe four to five minutes of your casual playthrough. Good. And we're gonna stop another zip, but first we gotta stop this particular jump. So, uh, so this Babinka. <coughs> Babinka will not hit us. Uh, let's do one more zip. Nay! Um, okay, so we went too fast, you see. So, uh, if you'll tap the zip, up, zip inputs uh, too fast, uh, you'll get warped down, and this is not something you want to experience uh, in this particular place on the run. So, let's do it again. Wait, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, this is this is absolutely fine. Uh, this is your average marker cost getting up speed run um, on a marathon call with out of hex and not a single thon. So yeah, it's gonna take uh, a while. Actually, like one more try, I think, and we're gonna be fine. Come on, can I? Can you just? What the... Like, the setup I'm doing does not work. Which is kind of obvious, because this is like... One of the most uh, consistent zips in the entire run. It's like, ex extremely hard to fail this one. Um, Alright, well, whatever. We'll do it still. Okay, let me try a different setup, so... This should work, yep. So, uh, let's climb this one and just go away. No, it's not nasty. That was close. Yeah, that was really close because you died a lot of times, you see. So yeah, uh, the game just uh, gets a little bit confused because we skipped all the starter triggers earlier in this mission. So it just unlocks us the in the next mission the same way it unlocks the uh, the previous stuff. So lights out is a very long auto scrollers with a banger soundtrack. And there is a very interesting cycle we're gonna do, so let us prepare our cat jumps in this area because it's uh, so good. Like, very fasting strats in this beautiful marathon. Uh, going with the rap because I'm actually out of flow and my breath is not good, so I'm gonna go down low. Uh, let's just paint some stuff here because it's obviously very fast. And I like going fast because it's like one of my favorite things to do, you see. Uh, even though like there is a lot of passion people, some people are taking this uh, thing too hard, so that's why we're painting this particular graffiti for those people that are passionate about speedrunning. Uh, running the games even though they are like very very tired or tilted. They're doing so fast, uh, uh, so fasting strats, so these fasting strats are going like super fast and uh, allowing them to like ignore all the laws of the gravity and the laws of whatever like the, the stuff they were in. So yeah, um... After this, there is a relatively long cutscene, so if you want, you can have some donation going on, and I'm gonna do uh, do some some stuff. First of all, let's just grab here, and then we're gonna do some uh, some like like some baljosh. So you see, like because watching this uh, beautiful cutscene is not like entertaining, like kind of good enough, and this game allows us to just. Do a couple of stuff, I'm gonna do some like, uh, some exercise, I'm gonna, don't skip my like this, I'm gonna do this, so, like, this is one, this is two, three, four, uh, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, 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 twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, seventeen, I, eighteen, uh, 19, uh, 12, 
33, because 33 is a good number. So like you see, actual fastening strats. Not only you run uh, the game like an actual madman, you are not keeping like they! <sighs> so yeah. By doing this, uh, let's say, um, how can I, how can I say this? Uh, give me a second. So, so by painting this particular train, uh, uh, our character called Train uh, gets lost by the government, and now they're gonna start a war. <clears throat> war uh, against the graffiti artists. So yeah. So to prove uh, who has uh, the bigger, uh, bigger, uh, bigger Baldiosh uh, in the in the city, we're gonna fight a uh, something uh, someone called Gabe. Nobody likes Gabe. Not not even like this game likes Gabe. So we're just gonna paint a, a very, uh, very uh, 80, 18 plus uh, picture here. So yeah, there, there, some banger soundtrack on the background Man, you right now. Uh, by Del the Funky Homo, homo Sapien. So yeah, just painting the most. Uh, well, just painting some uh, some insulting uh, pictures to see, because technically we're gonna insult our opponent. We're gonna insult Gabe. Yeah, I can see your skill because you ain't paint nothing. Uh, you like you you didn't paint nothing. You you like only like one third, and I'm like. Already finished my my stuff. Okay, so easy. So during the uh, this beautiful segment, uh, we are getting uh, found, and this is not good because, uh, well, reasons. So we're gonna run to the abandoned uh, amusement park, and we're gonna do some some cool stuff. So first of all, let's uh, jump away from this beautiful. Uh, uh, как же это? Uh, колонна. Колонна called uh, pillar. Yeah. Pillar in, in English. Sorry. And uh, just draw some more graffiti here. Okay. Good. So. Great. Okay, so after playing this graffiti we're getting... Uh, we're getting a new place. That we can reach. So casually, we're supposed to go like all the way up, go all the way down, figure out where the game is, and then just go whatever it is. It's boring. So remember the uh, train space program that I've mentioned earlier. How about we do another test? So we're just gonna do a jump, and then we're just gonna do a long, long jump over here. So you see, there's a lot of dead zones here, and uh, okay, we didn't touch one. Great, and so let's unlock the door without bolt gatherers from the uh, from the. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I, can I, I um, that's not good. Can I? Yo, come on. Can I? Marathon lock. Okay, got him. Good. So let's unlock the the good door from the other side. Then we'll spawning. Uh, we'll spawn a boss fight. So uh, we're gonna hit this beautiful uh, lady with uh, some sticks uh, that hit us very, very hard with some shock, like like this. And we're just gonna show her like some respect, you see, just some, so like casual respect that uh, you are usually uh, can. Uh, no, please. Uh, nay, um, um. So um, let's break this uh, this thing as well. Get uh, more planks. I like uh, I like planks, you see. Watch I'm go okay, so there is a cutscene. 
We don't have to skip the first one because otherwise the game will uh, will not be like satisfied with, with the stuff we're doing. So let's just move a little bit closer and hit her with the... Um, I can die here. Okay, we got lucky. Yo, can I just get inside you, please? One, two, block! Yes, nice. So, uh, if we hit her with the third attack, um, uh, while she's blocking, uh, she'll fall down like White Mike did. So, yeah. Grab her, kill her. Not skip the very first cutscene, because it's gonna be slow, and we like the fast name strats. Skip the second cutscene, and because we skipped a lot of uh, story triggers over here and there, um... Let's do the very same stuff we've done just a little bit earlier. Okay, okay. So, that blocks us uh, a new segment called Kids Think That They Are Bulletproof. So, this segment is uh, a little bit cool. There is There was um, an interesting strategy rela related to the bunny hopping. Uh, but uh, I found a new way to make this level much more consistent and much more um, safer for both runs and marathon safety. Uh, the way I'm doing this level uh, doesn't lose any much, uh, like any time. Uh, it loses four seconds on, like if you're doing the yellow strats. Um, I'm not gonna do the yellow strat, uh, like, but I can try to show it like later into the into the into the marathon, like. If I'll say like ton of time, which is kind of, kind of you see, kind of, um, kind of, kind of like can happen. So whatever. So first of all, what we have to do is that we're gonna load the ending trigger from this game, and the best way you can do is to jump over here and just die. What? I did nothing. I I just died. This is fine. So yeah, um, after we've done this, uh, the game loads uh, the triggers and we're just gonna set up the zip over uh, the zone... Mm, the zone plus... Uh, I gotta take one step extra, so... Yes, we got a zip. Goodbye. So after we've got a zip, quickly get up and jump around the zone. Bonk. So this allows us to jump over this place and uh, end trigger. Fast as a lightning. Okay, so um, so this level is kind of boring. Uh, so let me just uh, throw some more stuff for you to consider. So maybe the uh, one of like maybe some of you are wondering. Well, Mecha, how did you find this game? Like, uh, like, really, Mecha? Like, what what's this game? Like, this game's gem. So, um, I was running Devil May Cry games for quite a while. So, um, I was in a need of a game that kind of like a completely different game um, compared to the DMCs. So I thought that like, well, I needed a game that looks uh, kind of okay, uh, that doesn't have that m that many runners because I'm a fan of like trying to find something on my own instead of just following the predetermined route. Uh, so um, I remember that there was like one of the games um, that I played in my childhood. Uh, it wasn't just a radio, but it was something about the gravi gra gravity. Gravity. So, um, I went up and uh, searched for GDQ, I think, run of... Mm, I don't remember who run just tried it uh, on GDQ like a couple of years ago. Uh, might be Max Lopes. Oh, no, 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 Okay. Shut up. So, um, yeah. I checked the graffiti games that, uh, that I found and one of them was this game, Jam, that I found and remembered. And so I've checked the run by... Uh, Felix, also known as Sasha Vince, that I mentioned earlier in this in this run already. And I thought like, well, yeah, I, it's a little bit hard speedrun to do, but I think I'll be fine. So, um, I went and thought like, it's an actually hard speedrun, because none of this stuff I was trying to do uh, during my uh, learning, like, sections, uh, I mean, learning, uh, um, let's say, in my, like, 
But it's so like, when I was learning the run, uh, I couldn't like nail a single thing, or like single speed strategy that, that exists in this game. Uh, because I kind of never understood why exactly some things happen. Um, so, it took me like maybe a month or so uh, to actually understand why, uh, why game logic works like this. Why the game softlocks uh, in a place where it kind of usually softlocks. And well, uh, like plenty of other things. And so like I thought, well, this game could use uh, some some more runners. So I thought like, well, I think I'll just do like a couple of more runs. And so I ended up uh, getting uh, a relatively decent run because I'm like sitting on the third place right now. So yeah, and I thought like this go this this game like never had any marathons or uh, like any sort of I don't know attention. The, like because I, I I literally think like this game is an actually a good speed game like not without some quirks etc but yeah like this game has pretty much all that you need it has some movement uh, it has a decent first playthrough and most importantly it's uh, actually fun to run besides like three points where you have to do a uh, can cli can clip glitch. Uh, other than that, this game's like an actual gem, and uh, yeah, it's good that I actually uh, have a chance to show it up in this marathon. So, uh, where did I crash? Uh, I crashed. Uh, I think I'm. I gotta restart the game now. I think so. Or I can like take a five minute risk and uh, screw this up. Otherwise, I have to restart that port authority. Oh, whatever, I'm gonna take a risk. If the game crashes, I'm gonna lose 5 minutes, so whatever. Banger Dragon coming, and it's also copyrighted, so I'm gonna just like sing along, so sorry. It's called Block Party Helicopter. It's like an actual banger song, so uh, sorry. And prepare for this. Okay, so there is our train, we gotta land on it, otherwise it's gonna be bad for us. Okay, so we gotta paint this train and then the 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 stuff just goes away. I mean, like the 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 actual track, uh, but the new ja like to top tier uh, like jamming track comes in. So if you have your cat jumps ready, it's like per pretty much the perfect time to unleash unleash your cat jumps, unleash your baldios. Камрады, твою налево. Балдеж, из Eternal. Come on. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave, sorry. Uh, hello, I'm gonna leave. So yeah, uh, this guy is not having Baldeosh, so we're gonna... Okay, so this guy is obviously a little bit of uh, a problem to us. So we're just gonna try to make sure that he leaves our party. Can you leave my party? I'm having a run on a uh, Yo, I'm having a run on can I just jump? Oh, yeah, can I just... Okay, uh, no, no, uh, yay, yay, nay, nay. Yo, 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 goodbye. Okay, so... Let's go. We need more fire. Uh, let's have some fire. I can feel them coming. This is fine. Uh, so there's a train we're gonna we're gonna paint, but we've spent a lot of uh, paint, so we're gonna make sure to charge this just a little bit. Ah, this is fine. 
I mean, like, um, I said that, like, majority of this music is copyrighted, so, uh, either you gotta, like, turn it, like, very, very down low and make sure, like, you actually, like, say something on top of that, which makes it really, really, like, hard to, um, to turn the, uh, like, to actually hear the songs. Or, uh, there's, like, um, well, whoa, 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 what's this? It's uh, a flamethrower! We're a fire mage now! Actually, like, if you take a look at uh, the legs, there's like a, a can uh, that spawns there, and like, come on. <laughs> it's like a fun stuff. Whee! Nice. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is. Uh, uh, no, uh, can I go up? Thank you. So, yeah, uh, there's like one more train. We got a, we got a paint, and this is uh, mission over. Uh, this level is pretty much an old score, but, well, you see. Some old scores have to be taken because otherwise it's not. It, it ain't fun without old scores, you see. So, yeah. Um, we can, like, do a little jamming here on this beautiful ledge. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, where it is? Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, got him. So, uh, let's uh, throw some paints uh, over here. We're, because we start at the middle, we're gonna paint the upper, the middle, like, and the bottom parts first. And, like, just move uh, move upwards slightly, but sl steadily. Okay, so, uh, let's hope that the game won't crash. Otherwise, I'm gonna use some cheats. You see, like, Speranza to use cheats, they are not legit, so you see. So yeah, uh, objects completed. Let's make sure that everything is fine. Okay, good. Don't crash. It didn't. Nice. So we gotta uh, make sure that the game gets saved, and we're, then we're gonna crash the game by ourselves like this. Uh, because as I said earlier, we gotta crash the game, otherwise the game kind of uh, crashes the game for us, uh, and it's not good. Not good at all. Trust me. We gotta crashing. We're gonna crash the body, so you can continue doing speedrunning strats. But speedrunning strats are so fast that these strats are becoming fastening. Because uh, we're playing fast strats on top of like a fast game. So that results... I am my ears. So that results like in uh, momentum combination, which results in extreme fastening. So yeah, um... Uh, we're gonna do some CCK uh, stuff here. So yeah, uh, and, uh, well, ow. And while it's still on, uh, if you have any donations, uh, you can t you can surely uh, read, uh, read them now. Oh, uh, this is bad. I think. This is actually bad. Okay, so we don't have... I think, uh, can I... What, did I... What, what happened? What, what? Did I get a cutscene overlap? Where am I? Okay, I'm here. Good. Yeah, yeah, can I just... Thank you. Don't shoot at me. Uh, we gotta go fast because otherwise we'll be very, very screwed. Uh, this is fine. Uh, we gotta just go to restart the mission. Um... So what happened here is that I got a very rare, like, rare kind of behavior. But this guy just detects us and there's nothing I can do. So this guy just kind of blocks our way inside and... Um, whenever he does that, there is something called a cutscene overlap. Where kind of two cutscenes are playing at the same time. And this doesn't allow us to actually manage the section properly. And this is like a very bad situation for us, so it's not good, not good at all. We didn't get the bunny hopping as well, so uh, whatever. So yeah, uh, let's go upwards and make sure that the rest of the level goes um, fine, at least. Hopefully, maybe I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty much we're at the middle, and uh, for those that are still like not understanding what like what's going on, so um. As a graffiti artist, uh, that like your government wants to get rid of you because you're doing some vandalism stuff. Um, Train decides to just go and dive deep inside the archives of the police, 
and uh, see if there is a bounty on his head and like if there is uh, any uh, sound of like um, whistle blowing inside his crew. And what he discovers is that um, all of his relatives and uh, like all his crew is ha like has been put under a let's say an extreme surveillance. And uh, that confirms the suspicions of one of the graffiti legends called Decoy, that uh, kind of warns Train that he shouldn't be uh, like attracting so much attention to, to himself and his persona with his gravities. So Train does not believe him, and so he like dives in, dives in deep like really hard. So yeah, uh, here I'm going to do a very difficult skip. Hopefully it won't kill me. So first of all, we'll do this, uh, then we we'll do that. Then we do this, and then we do that, and then we do this one more time, and then we are skimming a very long segment. So, uh, what we've done now is we despawned uh, a lot of guards here in the level, because these guards are supposed to just patrol around these uh, vans that we got a uh, paint upon. And this is uh, not a uh, good stuff to literally like play with, honestly, so sorry. So, uh, yeah, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, just paint those uh, paint those cars, there are six gravities we gotta, we're gonna finish, uh, three of them are done, so we got three more, so then we got a uh, good time, I think. So, uh, okay, this seems, this seems actually pretty normal. Okay, so there is two more, so this one, I think, is good. And there is one more, so uh, let's go over here and paint one more final gravity. Okay, good. So because we have no guards and because we didn't skip a measure story trigger, pretty much that triggers those guards and like in the first place, uh, there is no like small glitch that we've encountered, encountered uh, in the previous locations, in the, like previous missions, like uh, layup, what the why? Come on, nice. So yeah, we, we just gotta finish the level as, as normal and everything's gonna be like just perfectly fine. Nice. So before we go in, uh, we gotta turn off the auto saves because every single time of auto saves is in, we are gonna lose uh, an entire four seconds real time. Because we wanna go fast, we gotta optimize this. I gotta get some nap. So uh, this is so called the interior CCK. Uh, this is actually like probably the hardest level in the entire run. So we gotta protect this guy. He gets like a lot of damage from these guards, and th that's the problem. And we gotta also kill these guards as fast as possible. So we gotta go fast. And uh, you can't like really incorporate both of these because as you can see like this like second guy like it just dies. And can you just release your blocking? Thank you. Can you not hit my guy? Thank you. Please, uh, let's get some ball bounces. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave this to you, I think. Okay, kill this guy and I'm gonna leave this one. Yo, what's this ball bounce? Can you hit him? Yo, yo, can you just... Bonk. Wait. What the f... Nay. Okay, so uh, he died. Um, obviously, but cannot um, pull a a decent fight, so we gotta do everything for him. Well, whatever. Uh, that's not a good one. Uh, that's not a good one. So let's me try again. So we got a wall bounce. That's good. That's another one. That's actually perfect. Actually, good fight. Like good start. Uh, so now, because he's not in a Volvan segment, we gotta make sure that we are doing this attack instead. Uh, hug this guy a little bit. Uh, let's make sure that this guy gets some wall bounces as well. Uh, this is fine so far. Okay, this is fine. Great, great. 
Uh, I'm gonna... This, I think. Okay. We can grab this uh, Montana spray if you want. It's not like... Okay, so here's the actual hard part. We gotta make sure that this guy doesn't seize us. And we gotta dispawn him. Uh, so dispawn works the same way it like works in GTA. Uh, like, is it gone? I think it is. Okay, so then we're gonna get out and hit this guy in uh, in uh, in cojones. So yeah, um, his cojones are very very slim. So yeah, then we're gonna do a very like not really that precise wall run here. So we'll load the end trigger as well, and you can guess what's gonna happen next after I say words end trigger. So we're gonna zip. But the way zips work is that you can only, not only you can zip like uh, somewhere like left or right, you can like also zip below yourself like this. This allows us to finish the level with uh, a within like a couple of minutes like this. Great. So then we gotta quit and we gotta just load the next mission. So, um, the train decides to do one more, uh, one more, um, oh, wait, 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 so one more, one more, uh, uh, one more, then, one last vamos, yeah, it goes like this. So, but what I mean is that he's gonna paint uh, the helicopter of the uh, chief uh, of the police, called Chief Hunt. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna first whistle just a little bit, then make sure that these guys won't be uh, too mean to me and they won't hurt me. Don't hurt me, no more, thank you. Can I paint? Thank you. Good. No. Uh, so uh, this in return um, kind of rewards us with a police raid on a school that we've been living in for quite a while. But this raid has been sponsored by uh, Gabe uh, that uh, we know already yeah, like for quite a while. So yeah, Gabe sold us out and uh, that's why uh, he's a bad person. Uh, he'll, get, he'll get his redemption quite soon enough, but for now we gotta make sure that we don't burn in, uh, in this in this beautiful art cool. So uh, yeah, let's get out. The tracks playing on the background, if uh, like if you can hear it, is Box Hunter, uh Emporium, uh, and this track is a banger, like an actual banger. Wow. So yeah, um... Good. So, let's, let's get out. We're gonna get out a little bit uh, in like a couple of seconds. And there is a boss fight that's very hard to do optimally, but I think I, I found a very consistent start for me. That works every single time, most of the times. So yeah, this is kind of um, amazing baldiage going on. So yeah, school rooftops. Let's go. So, first of all, uh, let's step forward, use our flamethrower. Uh, this might be bad. Oh, what, what? I might die here. Wow, that, that's, that's new. Okay, so let's take this uh, garbage can, whatever it is. Uh, let's drop this uh, plank here. Uh, let's make sure that the enemies uh, are here. Let's uh, whistle to them. Okay, let's burn this guy down. And uh, here you go. Let's repeat the same process for this guy. And here we go. Let's take this uh, weapon we have here. Hit the boss four times. So this is one. This is two, this is four, then we do one, two, three. He falls down similar to White Mike, and we can easily like, just 
kill him like this. It's like kind of a hard cycle to get, but um, most of the times it's got like consistent, so yeah. Great boss fight. So uh, this is a cutscene, I can't skip it, uh, but well, yeah. I'm gonna explain uh, uh, what's like what's happening here, like in like in some time, maybe. Okay, good. So, um, this um, event that just happened here announces the, uh, let's say, the ending of a Steel Freak crew. Uh, crew, Steel Freak crew that uh, Trayan assembled, uh, for, like, because it's gone too dangerous for people to participate in. And, uh, well, um, uh, yeah, pretty much. We gotta, we gotta do some revenge. Uh, we gotta paint more stuff. We gotta do some more things. Uh, by the way, like game uh, went like dead silent after the event, so we are wondering where the game is. So yeah, uh, I smell a rat. Uh, this rat is here, and welcome to Port Authority, which is pretty probably the um, hardest, oh, it's hardest uh, level in the entire game because. Can clipping has to be combined with another trick in this game um, that I'm gonna be showing in a couple of like minutes, and hopefully I'm gonna get this first try because uh, worst case scenario is that I'm gonna lose like 10 minutes on this segment and it's gonna it's gonna be very bad. Come back here. And I'm not gonna come back. You don't deserve me. Sorry. So please, flame, flame, flame. So, okay, so we failed this once, we failed it twice, uh, let me please uh, try. So yeah, uh, we gotta do a frame perfect input over here in a 30 FPS game, which is a little bit... Okay, got him. So yeah, uh, after we've flipped halfway inside of like Out of Bounds, we gotta, like, we gotta move either with our hands or, like, with this beautiful thing that people used to... No, that's just too far! Okay, this is a very unlucky segment. Uh, whatever, I'm gonna do it, like, one more tr one more time. Okay, yeah, this was too hard. Sorry. So, uh, as you can see, the skip is a little bit hard on execution. Um, so yeah, it's just a little bit hard. This is soluble, but still just a little bit hard. Okay, got second, second, second time. Okay, let's uh, let's do these mistakes one more time. Okay, so let's do a small attacks. Uh, I think I need one more. Please, can I get one? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, nice. So we're clipping inside this beautiful uh, place. Uh, so what was the last time I was crushing the game? Uh, I think I gotta do it. Wait, so I crushed the game before CCK, so I gotta crush the game after the game. Okay, this, this, is, this satisfies me. So, uh... Okay. Okay, so, we gotta chase Gabe uh, all the way uh, down uh, this train station. Uh, these guys are shooting me, this is not good, not good at all, trust me. Can you, can you actually grab something, please? Or like, I'm just not able to grab because these enemies are hitting me. Don't hit me, I'm good. Nice. Okay, so, some more bunny having here, uh, great. So uh, here we gotta do a downward zip because we gotta do 
like because we gotta go we gotta we gotta go downwards. Let's wait just a little bit. So yeah, uh, this allows us to just get straight up to the point where we gotta wait for the train to arrive. Because we can't see anything, we are gonna do some uh, flamethrower strats. Um, and we're gonna like w wait like a minute and a half uh, for these guys to actually spawn a train. So yeah, we can wait them like here. Yo! Look at this guy. He wants to hear a story. Well, here's the story. You're dead. Ah, 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 ah. Most brutal scream of 2021. Yeah, running with delicious is a crime, you see. So, yeah. Uh, let's, ju let's hop on this train. Great. Great. So, uh... Now, there is a boss fight that we have to perform. And this fight is um, against Gabe itself. So, it's not really an actual boss fight, because all we have to do is just dangle Gabe to the edge of the platform times in a row. But, again, we have this beautiful bunny hop section over here. Uh, can I get some speed? Speed! Fast! Oh no, there's a train! Okay, good. That's playable. Okay, so here is the game. Yeah, I can't see your skills because you don't have any. Sorry. Uh, yo! Yo, can you just... Okay, set this. It's decent. Great, that's one. So, drop the weapon. Uh, let's wait a little bit until Gabe actually, like, gets out from this trap. You just play me out. This up. Uh, don't. I don't need your bricks. I'm not a Minecraft speedrunner. Yo, can you just not throw your bricks? Can I? Okay, like, he got a brick on his hands. It's like, not fine. So, I got a brick on my own now. So I'm gonna just dangle him, I'll launch him into that direction. This will not work. Yo, my man. Can you just. Oh. Great. One, two, three. That's good. And there is one more. So uh, there is a cutscene that I cannot skip, uh, so I'm gonna use this time to grab some water, so. Make sure you watch this scene. Oh, blah, blah, blah. If you have any donations, you can uh, you can like read them down. So Yeah, we don't have any donations, but uh, I'm just gonna use the time where Mecha is just AFK <laughs> <laughs> to shout out a bunch of things coming up. For example, the bit where during the Titanfall 2. Uh, also later on tonight, we will have Rixi, who is I'm really excited to see in Hackathon again. Uh, he's gonna run Dust Force, and there's an incentive for a skin choice there, which you can donate for. Also, one. Hour after that, there will be the Orient and Will of the Wisps run by Roos, which I'm also really excited for. It's a really, really entertaining game. And I'm not just saying that because I'm the Mr. Hackathon. And there's an incentive for Roos attempting the water escape in Will of the Wisps blindfolded. Which you can also donate for. And yeah, don't we just want to talk about how much Mecha, Mecha sucks? I mean, it's awful. The cool thing is I can just say whatever I want now because he's just not here. He's not hearing me. So, what do you guys think? Uh... 
Oh, he's coming back. I need to leave. Right, guys, I brought some water. Should have done that earlier, you know. Still. Um, it's, it's my pleasure today to Ooh. declare a victory over the rats who've been infesting this city. The CCK ordered you to wreck. So, um, you know, like, we gotta discuss something, you see? So let's discuss something called a world record. Um, I have a proposition, guys. Can we please not use the term world record? It's very misleading and that assumes uh, the video post is the fastest time. When in fact someone um, else like could have a better, faster and unrecorded version. What I can say is that we can use a um, term CBT CBT which refers as the currently best known time with publicly viewable video evidence that follows the rules uh, by the creators of the Spirank community of the specific game that has uh, verified by approved by select members of the said Spirank community that the considered moderators of the said game Spirank Luderboard. Thank you. Alright, uh, so let's uh, try to finish the run. So, um, yeah, because uh, Deco is dead now, because Deco, because Gabe uh, screwed us all up, uh, we gotta do the work uh, all by ourselves. So, uh, first of all, let's do a very hard zip. It's like probably one of the hardest zips to set up here, uh, but hopefully we got it like this this time around, like this, uh, just a little bit faster I think. Nay, uh, grab this. Work. Nice. Okay, uh, we can move on the invisible edges after the zips. Sometimes this one is kind of obvious as of now. So, uh, we can use this to skip like a very huge uh, chunk of the level by jumping straight up to the one of the main graffitis that we have to paint here. Okay. So, yeah, guilty 906. The day uh, Train's uh, father was killed. Uh, we gotta drop down here because I'm not a fan of this, uh, uh not, not fan of this thing. We can die here because there is a Fura that can go here and just kill us. JUMP! Okay. Good. So, uh, this works. This works. We're gonna paint the middle and the upper parts first, and then we're gonna go back to the bottom ones, uh, like this. And then we're gonna go all the way up. So, um, yeah, let's just try to dodge the machines here and there. Uh, let's aggro the, the guards. Hopefully we're gonna succeed in this. So, first of all, uh, nay! Okay, we're gonna hit this guy on his cojones, otherwise we're gonna have a bad time! Okay, so that's cojones number one. Uh, I think we can shut down this. Okay, cojones number two. Cojones number two! Great. So, stand at the right side of this door and the bolt got it. Like this. Beautiful. Uh, great. So, let's bounce back. Let's just move a little bit forward and uh, jump. Right. Nice. So uh, let's do a couple of more jumps if possible. Um, uh, can I rotate myself? Please, I want to rotate my... my... Yo! Great. So after rotating ourselves, let's go back and uh, just do this little jump over here. And hopefully everything goes according to our plan over here, and hopefully everything will be uh, hopefully fine. So yeah. Uh, so by the time I reach the next segment, I'm gonna be very sorry. So hmm. 
Ooh, that's some great water. Stay hydrated, my comrades. Okay, so we gotta jump here on the platform and then just wait a little bit until this guy like gets gets back gets down. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, I got this guy here and try to get like over this before they'll detect you once again. Yeah, I heard your scream! Okay, uh, what we gotta do is that we gotta do a very risky zip setup over here and hopefully we won't die while doing this. So let's rotate a little bit. Let's rotate a little bit. Great. So, uh, jump and set up. Yeah, I believe so. Can I get a zip? Can I get a zip? Oh no! 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 Please! No, no, no. So my game just soft locked. Uh, uh, this is bad. We're gonna do the level from the scratch. I got the soft lock mid run. This is marathon lock. Congratulations. What a marathon run without a, a random soft lock that in the cure here and there with a very low chance, right? Right. Okay, so uh, let's do the very same segment all the way back to the top. And hopefully we won't get soft lock this time around. Okay, so let's do it once again. Jump, go all the way left and start painting. So yeah, um... This game doesn't currently have a proper notes, but we have a very long documentation story that goes uh, back until like 2017, I think. As far as I'm aware, um, like you can use my notes that I prepared for this game if you wanna learn this game probably, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, and uh, it's very easy to reach us in Discord. They're gonna find on speedrun.com page of this of this beautiful game. We would like to see some new people, you see. Because this game only has like five runners. Six if you'll count me count me. So yeah. I think like this game is uh, a little bit underrated as a speed game. And I think like the, there is much more that can be discovered given how broken the game already is. Oh, I nearly died. Okay, uh, so. Uh, okay, let's try to. Yo! What's this? A Baldiosh time. Okay, so let's touch the door once again from the right side. Let's do some bolt colors. Everything is uh, fine. Can I move over here? Nice. Then let's just move over. Don't push me! Yo! 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 Okay, we're gonna do this, I think. Um. So, if I... If I would... Like, have any kind of chance to tell how bad it is, it's like 8 out of 10 bad. Put your hands where I can see you. Finally. Okay. Well, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna respect the certain game more, you see. Maybe it will help me, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay. Brr. Okay, now we have all the chances and all the time in the world to just um, go and uh, make sure that everything goes fine. You see? Uh, so usually by this time I finish my runs, but again I've taken a rather safe estimate and because I had the soft lock, that's pretty much a, I think like a 4 minute time loss, uh, well... There's nothing that I can do about this. Uh, yo, can you actually stand up? 
Okay, I'm gonna do this instead. Yo, like, just don't shoot me. It's everything I'm asking. Yeah, on my knees. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. So, let's drop down again. Uh, and make sure this guy just drops down. Great. Right. Okay, let's set up this zip once again. Holy moly. Yo, can I actually set the zip up, please? Uh, um, I'm actually being probably a little bit too close, that's why I can't, yeah, I can't grab this because I was just a little bit too close. Can I... Okay, I just need some zipping power. Nice, got him. So yeah, uh, after we do the zip, uh, let's just uh, get some movement here. Uh, we got drop either on the on this ladder over here that's what i'm gonna do or just like the platform behind the ladder that works as well so now i gotta crash the game because there is a high chance it's gonna crash now but hopefully i won't get this kind of uh, bad luck uh, right now here it's nice okay so here i'm gonna restart the game just in actually ah screw this I'm not gonna restart the game because, like, let's do a yellow strat, so, like, doesn't matter. Um, bridge uh, station. There is a skip uh, that I'm gonna do, it's very precise. And hopefully everything's gonna be fine. Got him. So, like, guys, move. Look. I'm playing the game without actually playing the game, like, with my power of mind, like, uh, actual god gaming strats, you see. Most Metal Zip 2021. Well, you guessed. Alright. Last chapter. Okay, go. Yo. Okay, I got it. So, uh, this probably my hate, probably the most hated level. Because this guy in the black, uh, you gotta manipulate him in a very precise way, so like that he doesn't do any stupid sh kind of memes. Uh, please, can you just... Uh, can you stop, please? Uh, I need your shots, please shoot me. Nice! Yo, can you move over here? Okay, let's break some physics laws uh, for once. Nice. So yeah, um, I don't, I'm not sure, entirely sure like how does it works entirely, uh, but I found this stuff and I have no idea how does it work honestly. So um, yeah, we can figure it out. Hello, I'm I'm train mecha, mecha train. Okay, uh, let's move upwards uh, just a little bit and uh, let's wait until this pattern goes up. Nice. So, like, like that would allow me to stop a very uh, decent movement section over here and that will allow me to just do all the kind of nasty like stuff here and there. So, we should be. I'm not gonna be fine, I don't have much maha. So yeah, um, there is one more zip we have to do, and there is a couple of more silent takedowns we gotta do. So uh, first of all, let's take some HP in case like if something goes wrong and I have to like manually kill the enemies. Uh, these guys are like not important, like not at all. So just we gotta, we gotta skip them. Uh, this is camera, camera detect us if we if they start us for too long. So for now, let's just uh, simply go up. I'm not Kudlum, my name is Mecha, I'm, 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 I, 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 I run some good games, you see. Okay, so uh, let's activate the console, let's move over here, we're gonna set up a fight ahead of us. So first of all, let's whistle at the sky two times in a row, uh, and do a very long jump to the sledge, grab it and before he opens the door, hold shift, and um, wait until he goes past these very first set of consoles, like this. So then we fall down, rotate behind him, and bonk. Easy, you see. 
So. Let's go. So we gotta wait for the black guy to actually start moving again. Thank you. And we gotta do the same stuff. Bonk. So there's one more enemy we gotta take care of, and after that we are we're gonna do a a jump from the invisible platform over here, like this. Uh, that was a little bit too low. Sorry, uh, that was a little bit too high. So it should be around. Yo, game, game. And you just thank you. Okay, so uh, let's move all the way up into this intersection, and then let's do a very. Uh, where am I moving? What? The f wait. So, what kind of... Wait. So, I'm doing uh, this kind of zip. Okay. Great. So, uh, this zip is particularly hard because you gotta not only maintain the zip momentum, this one, but you also gotta maintain your ability to move left and right. Otherwise, you'll have a bad time. You don't wanna have a bad time in this game, trust me. So, yeah. Uh, drop down here, touch the end uh, trigger, and that's all. Okay. One more mission left. No crash. This is insane. No doubt, indeed. Without weed, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so, this is a very long boss fight, and we just gotta do it, like, just a little bit faster. So, first of all, uh, let's take this dude, because the one, the other one's burning. Let's pull him all the way up here. Uh, yo, yo! I don't like... This can you just move a little bit closer to me? Okay, so we gotta grab this guy, wait until the grab animation finishes and just send him flying. Where are you? Okay, this is kind of good. Oh yeah, this this is actually a very interesting glitch. But again, the structures are still the same. Uh, I'm gonna take the one more time. Uh get up. Get off my lawn! Come on! Come on! One more time! Yo! Can I... Yo! Yo! Can you... Okay, this guy is weird. I can't like... I can't pull him off. For... Oh. Yo! What the heck? A thon! Well, yeah. Kind of fun like him. Okay, so then we gotta do some damage boosting over on this beautiful console. We gotta need uh, as much as less HP as possible. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So uh, let's stay as further away as possible because that allows us to just. I could have skipped the cycle here. Come on, hit me! Hit me! So, uh, the boss drops down, and we gotta move a little bit closer to her. So we can, like, just fry her with our, uh, portable flamethrower, uh, 1.0. Okay, let's just wait a little bit. Then, uh, burn her once again. Uh, after a couple of, uh, seconds, uh, she'll be just ready to go, because the Katsu will play. That probably much shows that, well, yeah, this one. So, she's gonna grab us, uh, like this. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna mash. Uh, prepare for the time because it's gonna happen in like a couple of seconds. Okay, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This is like prepare. So grab me, nice. So time in five, four, three, two, one. Time. I'm gonna make uh, the sound just a little bit louder. Sorry. How did I end up here in this mess? So yeah, I just um, wanted to get up, get my name up, break graffiti. This game's uh, is very decent casually. This game is a uh, pretty good speedrun in my opinion. You should try it out. Uh, you should also watch the. Uh, by Sasha Vince and Robotic Dreams with their times of 1 hour 24 minutes and 40 seconds. Um, 
but yeah, uh, hopefully this run will uh, will inspire people to maybe run this game a little bit more. Maybe not. I have no idea. Uh, but what's what's most what's most importantly is that we all had some bold Josh today. So Baldiosh is eternal, oh, that's Ladies my opinion. And speedrunning is a perfect place to get some Baldiosh. So whenever we get some Baldiosh, everyone's happy. And if there is no Baldiosh, nobody's happy. So you see, um, the problem with passionate people in general is that once passionate people become too obsessed with something uh, um, they care about a lot, um, well, you see, you gotta sometimes uh, figure out how to make them stop doing something. Yeah. Passionate people are great people, especially in speedrunning, so... Uh, thanks for uh, actually being awesome. <clears throat> Thank you for being awesome, my comrades. Stay fastening! Uh, I, there is a lot of more cool runs going on, and... Uh, well, I hope uh, everyone's gonna be fine. Maybe, maybe not. Tomorrow is uh, also a pretty much important day for a lot of, a lot of us, those who submitted our runs to GDQ. So yeah, um, I've submitted this game to GDQ as well, but I'm not sure if this will get through. I think it has a chance, but the problem is I think that it won't get through. Maybe it will, maybe not, we, we never know. So yeah, um, thanks uh, for having me. Thanks for uh, well, setting this run. Thanks you for having me, giving me a chance to speed run this game. This is the end. I'm Mecha. Uh, check up. Marco is getting.